In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to change and use multiple fonts inside of Adobe Spark. What's up guys, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Nate Hibbert and this is Wingman University where our goal is to help you start and scale a print on demand business. Today we are talking about Adobe Spark and it is a tool that I keep finding myself going back to. Uh, I am a graphic designer, I mostly use Photoshop and Illustrator but Adobe Spark has proven itself worthy and so it has been kind of in my rotation. So today we're gonna be looking at the text tool inside of Spark and while it's a simple tool to use, there is actually a lot of control that you can have uh, and some neat things you can do quickly and efficiently. So let's go ahead and jump into some screen sharing. For our print on demand business, I do create a lot of text only designs. And so that's what I'm going to be creating for you guys today. We're going to go ahead and add some text. I'm going to show you the simplicity of adding the text. But like I said, the real control that you can have over this, uh, just thinking outside the box a little bit. So this design today is going to be, uh, I love it when my wife lets me go to the pub, which is just like a little funny saying, but the way that you put it on the shirt and the control that we have over the text uh, is really where the joke is gonna come out. So on this first uh, text box, what I wanna put is I love and my wife. We're gonna try and have this be big, bold, uh, but with some space in there to fit in some other words. And so I'm gonna go to shape, I'm gonna remove this background that we have on here, and I'm gonna find a font and maybe even capitalize and fit this. Uh, but I'm going to find a font, probably use my favorite font, which is this BN regular, uh, and just make this nice and big, but making sure that there's space in between these lines as, like I said, that's where the joke is really going to come in. So I'm going to move this kind of to the center here. And now instead of trying to add another line to this text box that we already have, I'm going to go ahead and add another text box uh, and we can start filling in some of these blank spaces that we have. So I'm going to start from scratch by adding my text here and I'm going to say it when on this line. For this, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I don't want it as bold, and so I'll probably find a different font here. Uh, if we go into our fonts, and looking for something that's just a little bit lighter, uh, but kind of still not so fun. Uh, just kind of straight to the point. That should work. Uh, so it's you can see it if you're up close, but if you're a little bit farther away, you might not see it. So the shirt will just look like it says, I love my wife. But if you get closer, you'll see it says it when, and then I'm gonna duplicate this out, drag it down a little bit, and then add in goes to the pub, or lets me go to the pub. Get done. Then we have that at the bottom and we could maybe even make these a little bit smaller, just having that full control over this text because of those white handles and the ability to add in multiple layers here. So instead of trying to have all of this on one text box because it would be very hard, it'd actually be impossible to resize all these things the way we want it, uh, having those multiple text boxes in here that we can manipulate individually uh, is really where the power comes through for Spark. So I'm not 100% happy with this design. I think it might even be a good idea to use a different font down here at the bottom. So just seeing what other fonts that we have have available to us. Oh, I kind of like this one uh, and moving this in place and just seeing the overall vibe of this design. But if you'd like to learn more about Spark, we do have a video playlist for you guys about all the tips and tricks that I personally use for Spark. And we also have another playlist about how I'm using this tool for our print on demand business. And both of those will be over here. But until the next video, I'll see you guys around.